I don't even love any person right now in our households or families that are working evil and they love the evil deeds lord they're working them and they love it i decree and declare a stoppage right now lord i decree and declare that shall stop right now satan you have no power over these households of family we are claiming them for god we are we are, we, we are believing that everyone shall be redeemed although we know that everyone is not going to be saved we still have to pray for the members of our household of family we still have to intercede on their behalf, O oh Lord. You are not going to force anyone. Your gospel is being preached. If the gospel is being taught, many are teaching it. Many are preaching it. Many are prophesying it. Many are saying it. The songs, many are even, God Almighty, dancing it. There are so many ways the gospel is being preached today. There are so many ways the gospel is getting out there, Lord. There are so many ways I thank God social media as it's going out thank god our god for the book now it's getting out it's getting out through the literature it's getting out through so many ways hallelujah but best of all thank god for the whole the whole soul of family the family members that are daily talking to the children nightly talking to the aunts and the uncles and whoever they are to talk to god calls your word cannot return void the word is already out there and you cause us to speak the word as we should even treasuring our speaking the word a lot of men are being complex and many are being drawn to you even to the very treasure so lord we give you praise again hallelujah thank you for the anointing that destroyed the yo and the whole souls you have already overturned whatever is coming against us and you will continue to overturn there is no darkness that can destroy your people. Those who are tired, those who are weary, we press hands to the tree over the not skin to leave them beside the quiet waters to soothe their soul. Father God, I ask I prepare a table before them in the presence of their enemies. Father, remind them that you are the only strong tower and we can run to you at any time. Father God, remind them that you are the rock of Gibraltar, being very safe and firm. Remind them, Lord, that you that makes the really cool. You are our sword, you are our shield, you are all in all. Father God, even tonight, above the children, of, this, of these families before you. Father God, just as Solomon had the, the heritage from his father, Father God, I pray that we may live our lives pleasing and acceptable to you so that they can get the blessings and not all the blessings from us. But Father, you can turn them around. You see their hearts and you know their hearts. So Father God, we ask that you will get they will get a big double blessing, not only our children, family, God, but our children's children's children. Just as Moses prayed upon the children and he blessed them, Father God, we pray that you will bless our children tonight. So, Father God, we just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for whatever was according to our job. No matter what we go through, Father God, we will pray, we will understand it. Trials and tribulations, they will come. But it's not if we pray down to you, we pray down to you with our changing hand. You are the same God yesterday, today, and forever. You shall never change. And we shall say, as this household or families are listening to me, we shall say, as for me and our house, we shall serve you, Lord. So tonight we say, thank you, thank you, thank you. We give you praise. Jesus mighty name Amen. Lord God, before we are living in a time of danger, we are living in a time where many are God feeling for fear. We are living in a time where the heart of man, God, it seems to be scared that our hearts are run. 